I pray God that every one of us will be yoked to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. It is by learning of him that you will find the rest that he has for you. And he made it so emphatic, I am meek and lonely. Hallelujah. Amen. And you shall find rest for your soul. By the end of 2019, may you find rest for your soul. Amen. So Jesus wants us to follow his footsteps. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. For even here unto where ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his footsteps. Follow his footsteps. On the cross of Calvary, Jesus purchased for you complete salvation. And by, and by that sacrifice, I want you to be assured as you keep on yoking with him, you will find rest to your soul. So we must follow him step by step. Hallelujah. Amen. We must follow Jesus step by step. Now until you are loyal, you can't follow and learn. Until you are loyal. You can't follow. For that matter, learn. Loyalty is very crucial. And Jesus wants us to be loyal to him. We can all, all of us can enjoy what Jesus has prepared for us when we become loyal and follow him. I want to define the word loyal. The dictionary, by, the dictionary gives us this definition for the word lawyer. It says, is a strong feeling of support or allegiance. It's a strong feeling for support. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, if you believe in Jesus Christ, everything around him, you would want to follow. And then you follow him with all the support. There are other words we can also use to clarify the word loyalty. When we say somebody is loyal, what do we mean? He is faithful. He is faithful. He is obedient. Is somebody who is trustworthy. And he is somebody you can depend on. He is dependable. And very reliable. Hallelujah. Amen. Can Jesus depend on you? Hallelujah. Amen. Can we be faithful? To the cause of our call. Can we be dependable? 
Can Jesus depend on you? Hallelujah. Amen. Now these words are so important so that we can understand the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now when you look at Jesus and his earthly ministry, he knew that by humanity he can't do everything by himself so he needed people to come along with him jesus came he called he called 12. i said he called 12. and these very 12 were very loyal hallelujah amen they were very loyal and i want you to understand that what we saw in jesus's ministry is also very very crucial to our commission where we have been given a father a father figure whose leading we must all follow oh i said whose leading we must all follow and for this commission to thrive and to reach heights it is dependent on how loyal all of us would be to the leadership praise the lord hallelujah ask your neighbor are you a loyal servant can this commission depend on you from wherever you are coming from now yesterday when the presiding apostle was preaching he said this great commission has a great future this church of ours has a great future and there are good things in store for this commission god might want to do great thing with this commission and for the manifestations of all that god wants to do it will come through when we all embrace the spirit of loyalty hallelujah amen it doesn't matter where you are coming from it doesn't matter where your church is located if we choose to become one to do things commonly as the leadership will instruct us we will see great things happen in this commission hallelujah amen you are not different from the one who is in let me say goshen complex wherever you are in this commission you are an extension of the great things that god is about to do may the lord use you to extend his kingdom amen hallelujah amen. so every leader for him to reach the utmost peak of the ministry needs loyal people people who are ready to die for the cause hallelujah amen people who are ready to endanger their lives for the cause hallelujah amen in every commission you can only find a father figure 
and the rest of us begins to follow. Now, when you look at Jesus, he surrounded himself with people who are loyal. Praise the Lord. And I want to prove to you by this scripture, Luke 22, 28 and 29. Luke 22. He said, Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptation. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptation. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father has appointed unto me. Hallelujah. So, by this scripture, Jesus is saying that even in his temptation, his followers or the disciples were so faithful to him. And once they were ready to follow, the Bible says he has appointed unto them his kingdom. May Jesus entrust his kingdom into your hands. I said, May the Lord entrust his kingdom into your hands. Because you have determined to be a loyal servant. And Jesus demanded loyalty. He demanded loyalty. Matthew 12 30. He said, He that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. It says, if you are not with me, then it means you are against me. If you are not gathering with me, and he that gathered not with me scattered abroad. It takes loyal people to gather with the Lord Jesus. May we be loyal to the cause of the commission. Amen. Oh, I said, may we be loyal to the cause of this commission. You see, Love Community Chapel is a unique church. We are original. Hey, yeah, I said we are original. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are original. We do things uniquely as, as the Lord instructs the leadership. I don't think that the presiding apostle will get up and give us things that God is not saying. Ever since I've known my daddy and my mentor, I've followed closely. I have put my foot in his footsteps when it comes to giving directives. I see a great church and a powerful church. But you see, if we would get there, it depends on how we grab information and run with it. That is why God has given him other leaders. Like the apostles. Who are in the regional capitals. With district pastors. With other pastors. Now these men are supposed to carry out 
every instruction that the Lord gives to the leadership. We can never oppose it. You see, a time must come when we move from Goshen complex and we come to Yadra, we must see the same activity. Because the same instructions that pertain to the mother must be pertained to all the local branches. Oh, am I talking to somebody? Yeah. I may not excite you this morning. <laughs> I'm only bringing to you what will, in the near future, people will look at all of us and say, well done you faithful servants I can attest of the fact that there are sometimes you who are in the revival you don't even know that you are even living in a revival you had the testimonies one man came to the Goshen complex. I was told that he was a very strong Roman Catholic uh, uh, member. You know the Roman Catholics when they enter into charismatic services, I mean no matter what, they feel they are the both yes, they are the bosses of the church. This man will never take communion in, in any church except in Roma. He attended a, a wedding in Goshen. And his own testimony when he entered the auditorium he said God is here he said God is in this place you see it was just a wedding wedding ceremony. and the man was testifying I, I don't know what he felt I don't know what God revealed to him. So when he went back on the Friday, he decided to follow the bride and the bridegroom to church on Sunday. The man has seen something. May the Lord open your eyes to see what God is doing with you. I said, may the Lord open your eyes so you can see. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the Apostle Paul referred to people who are loyal as like-minded people. To the Apostle Paul, when we say somebody is loyal, it means that the person thinks like you think. Hallelujah. Amen. And in Philippians chapter 2 verse 2. Philippians 2 verse 2. It says, Fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. How, how do we fulfill the joy of the leadership? How do we fulfill the joy of the Father that God has given us? It's when we become like-minded. When we become like-minded, we are not divided in our pursuit. We are going the same direction. 
we are doing the same thing so when you enter church in Kaswa you see the same thing in Anya you see the same thing in Kumasi you see the same thing in Ho because we are like minded may that be your story in the name of Jesus we need that if we are not like minded we shall never be able to fulfill our mandate I want to encourage somebody here that from here we are going to take nations I said we are going to take nations we are going to take cities for the Lord Jesus we are going to take villages for the Lord Jesus and these instructions are not going to come from anybody but now, the father that the lord has given us in yes, this house Papa, and, uh, praise the lord hallelujah are, are you receiving the message today amen it is not easy but i trust god that you will understand the message i'm giving you we can't compare our church with any church we are unique by the way the god call, god called us one lady came to one of the interviews and i had presiding asking her would you be a bond servant for 10 years he said i would die in this church ah. The, I was surprised but I believe she was talking from the center of her heart as you die for this church may the Lord meet your needs hallelujah Amen. we need loyal men Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll quickly give you signs of what we call disloyalty. And I want you to know that these things are coming because we need to sit up because God will do great things with us. There are people when they enter church, all they pray is that the church should be destroyed don't be on the path of people who are not wishing the church to progress is somebody hearing me yeah. hallelujah Amen. sometimes it amazes me the way God God puts people, bring people together. And recently, I was just talking to people. I said, listen, everything that God wants to do on earth, he will find men. Even when it came to crucifying Jesus, for God's will to be fulfilled on earth he had to look for somebody Judas was located he became the agent by which Jesus was crucified but you see war is to the man who becomes a conduit through which negative prophecies are fulfilled if God is looking for vessels, I want to be a vessel unto honor. May you be a vessel that God can depend upon. Amen. Not a vessel that will turn your back to your leaders, to your pastors to your district leaders hallelujah amen today we see a lot of churches who are making giant strides they didn't 
become what you are seeing by one day. Hallelujah. Amen. I was seeing one church at Independence Square this week. It's a great church. I said it's a great church. It has become a great church because they have found loyal people. Hallelujah. Amen. They have found people who are dependable. They have found people who grab an information and wouldn't ask questions but to run with it i pray god that it shall be your story in the name of jesus this loyalty is the opposite of loyalty hallelujah amen and in bible Bible. Second Samuel chapter 3 verse 20 to 27 is a long story. If I ask you to read, we shall finish, but I'll just tell you the story. So, when David became a king over Israel, before he became a king, king the, 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 the king who was in position before David became him was Saul. But because of his disobedience, God removed him and placed David into position. And the Bible says there was a long war between the house of uh, Saul and David. To the extent that these men had loyal soldiers. So one time, after Saul had been killed, most of his lieutenants and you know those who wore for him, the chief was called Abner. Now, one time David requested that Abner should come and see him. And when Abner came, David signed a peace treaty with him. David, Hallelujah. Amen. And so after the treaty, David saw him off and he left. Later on, then David's armor bearer, who was Joab, came along and heard that Abner came around and David received him nicely oh, and left asking said, to go. Now when he heard it, he was furious. He said, what? This man who was fighting us, opposing us, why did you guys allow him to come here and go free? He orchestrated and the long story short and went and called the man back Abner and as if he was chatting with him drove a knife into his heart and Abner died now when David heard it he was not happy because the instruction was that he has signed a treaty with him so by that treaty all the soldiers of David must run with it and so when he killed Abner David said well the blood of this man shall come over you as for me I have done my part David said, Now, Joab was not loyal to David. Joab, no, no, David. Because he had what we call an independent spirit. An independent spirit is the one who disagrees with the collective decision. 
Obi wawa asemo aye nyina yaka ne yade atum no nko ade o se da bi mempene we said we are fasting on Friday. Because of your watching and your uh, umutu, you defy the odds. I believe when they said we should fast for 14 days. I don't know how many of you really went through the 14 days. But if you're a loyal person, I believe that you did the 14 days. If you did the 14 days, let me see you clap for yourself. If you are not clapping, it means that you didn't, you are not a loyal member of the commission. So, we must not have what we call independent spirit. Let me give you a scripture quickly. A scripture. First Thessalonians chapter 5 17. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. So, an independent spirited person is an unruly person. Comfort the feeble minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. For the commission to progress, we must learn to bear with offenses. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, as long as we are human, offenses will come. But don't allow the offense to remove you from position and for what you do for the lord jesus hallelujah amen there are people who began this ministry with us and are no more because one way or the other they were offended please don't be offended in your local branches as you work together don't be offended they are all schemes of the devil to frustrate what God intends to do with the commission hallelujah write the scripture down Proverbs chapter 18 19 Number three. Don't be passive as a loyal person. We must do things together. Normally when people come to church and I see their body language, you see their body language like this. We were taught in school that when you find a member of your church who is always like this it means that they are not part of you they don't want to put their hand to anything hallelujah amen so don't put your hand across and that is the sign oh media William family but if we want to progress our hands must be free may your hands be free to serve the lord jesus i said may your hands be free to love serve the lord jesus number four let us not find faults with everything that must be magnified there are people who call them they are very critical for the church to progress let us never be critical they see faults everywhere if he doesn't do it nobody can do it even if somebody does it when they come and say what you have done is not correct 
This is what we call a critical spirit. It wouldn't help our development. Hallelujah. Amen. Miriam and Aaron were critical at Moses. Miriam and Aaron when you read Numbers chapter 12 verse 1 they said Moses had married an Ethiopian woman so they were so critical about it hallelujah Amen. sometimes I want the saints to stay put when God is dealing with his people we must handle the men of God with dignity if you find anything wrong pray for us I said pray for us oh I said pray for us don't be too critical hallelujah A disloyal person is the one who uses political skill to destroy things. Or see, Obi Oni no kure no, or they are ultimately the man your sem, ultimately say in him. And he involves people in his ideas and not what God is saying. Na ultimately a drum, a di badi or no na dunya wafan ho. You see, not what the leadership is saying, but what he feels. Absalom was doing that. Absalom, oh yes, against his own father. Absalom rose against his father. Absalom, sorry, Tia, ni papa. He stood in the gates. And when the people are passing, he will tell them, don't you see, my, fa your, your, my father doesn't have time for you. If you have a case, I can solve it. And by so doing, he won a lot of the hearts of the people to himself. Because his intention was diabolic. You see, when God set a man, no matter the scheme that men will come with, it will still never prosper. At the end of the day, Absalom died. He did wicked things sleeping with his own father's wife oh, concubine no, 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 but you see when god said i have ordained nobody can change it at the end of the day absalom died because he rose against his own father david may we always support our father may we never have any opportunity to stand against his desire may that be your story in the name of jesus amen hallelujah amen And many a time, there is another spirit we call the spirit of deception. Now, this spirit, this is how it works. It despises what the leadership is doing. He feels when he's there, he can do it more better than. Him. It's a deceptive demon. Hallelujah. He feels he's greater than. He can do greater than what the person is doing. Please, let's be humble and serve. Wherever Jesus has placed you, serve in humility. As I serve in humility. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Because you can never be greater than your master. 
John chapter 13 verse 16 Verily very I say unto you The servant is not greater than his Lord Neither he that is sent Greater than he that sent him there is no way you can be greater than your, your master even though Jesus has assured us he says you do greater works but you can never be above him may the Lord give us a spirit of humility in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Amen. Please, my seventh point is that let us never be rebellious. Rebellion, the Bible says, is as a sin of witchcraft. And when the devil or Satan started his, his uproar, the Bible says there was war in heaven because Lucifer felt that he can do better than what God has done. The Bible says God removed him. God cast him out. I pray God that he will never cast us out. Amen. I said you will never be cast out. Hallelujah. Amen. He became rebellious. A rebellious person is when your pastor says do this and you are doing the opposite. When your pastor says they said we are coming on this date and you say oh me I can't go. That is a rebellious spirit. May that never be your portion. Amen. I said may that never be your portion. Amen. Hallelujah. Judas betrayed and fought against the Lord Jesus. Oh, see, Judas, hey, Jesus, am I. You can write the scripture, Matthew 26, verse 47 to 48. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came and with him a great multitude with a sword and staff from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Hold him fast. He was betraying Jesus. He came nicely. And many a time, that is, the, that, that is how when they come, they are laughing with you. But inside, inside their hearts, it is a different story altogether. Those who deceive with their keys. When they come and they are kissing you. Mm, be careful. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastors, let's be careful. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They come in a very subtle way, kissing you. So you won't see what is inside. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord deliver us all. My last point, and then I end the message. Another area is that those who are disloyal, eventually they lose their lives. I remember back then one in Goshen complex. Ushers came to work together. Somebody said they didn't greet her, so she slapped one usher. And the message came to the elders of the church. And the leadership said, well, we can never slap people who have come voluntarily to work for Jesus. Even if the person wronged you in a way. So 
the one who slapped his fellow um, sister was suspended. She didn't understand why. So she left the church. Joined another church. Along the line, she had a very serious disease. Even after we did that, she left. We went to convince her, say, say, sister, come back. You have done a mistake. We are trying to correct you. So that this won't repeat itself. She refused. Eventually, we were there when the, they came and told us that she has passed on. You see, Coming to join this commission is not an accident. God brought you here for a purpose. If you were to join any other commission, you won't be here. So please, let's understand the dynamics of church. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I said hallelujah. Amen. Your amen is weak. Amen. So the lady died. Because you see, when God places you, and you begin to drift by your own accord, eventually you miss it. You give the devil the opportunity to now grab you. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, so to cut the long story short, okay. all those who rebelled in the Bible, they ended dying. Lucifer was cast out. God said, I can't live with you anymore. Absalom died. He was on a horse running away from the father. When a tree grabbed his hair, Joab and his soldiers got there and straight and killed him. Ahitophel also died. Second Samuel 17, 23, you can write it down. Ahitophel, Ahitophel. who was giving bad counsel, he also ended losing his life. Judas, he also died after betraying Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Church, you are too special. I say you are unique. God has brought you here for a reason. You are one inch of all the building blocks. Hallelujah. Amen. In bringing my message to a close, Psalm 133. Can we be upstanding and we read this scripture? It says, Behold, how good, how good and pleasant it is for the brethren to dwell together in unity somebody say unity oh somebody say unity somebody say unity hallelujah and then look at it it says it is like a precious ointment upon the head of, that ran down upon the head, beard even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garment as the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descend upon Mount, the Mount of Zion for there the Lord commanded the blessing 
Hallelujah. Amen. I see the spirit of unity coming upon oh, us today. I see the spirit of loyalty coming upon the commission today. And by your loyalty, may the Lord lift you from one glory to the other. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody lift your hands right now. Say, Father. Say, Lord. Say, Lord. Today, I pledge allegiance to your church. Jesus, I will serve. I will serve with all my heart. I will be one with leadership in pursuing the vision of this great commission. Father, grant me the spirit of like-mindedness with leadership to walk in perfection, to walk in perfecting your desire. Jesus, I will live to serve you through Love Community Chapel. I will do my best. I will do my best. So help me to be loyal. So help me to be loyal. So help me to be faithful. So help me to be obedient to the leadership. Come on, somebody pray right now. 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 Zila bara 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 da. Andora bara 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 do. Randa la baza bramba. Enta la baza bramba bamba. Sankata baza bramba bamba. Balam bramba bamba bamba. Branta la baza bramba bamba. Panda baza branda la baza bra. Panda baza kagora baka baba. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Thank you, Lord. I surrender all to you. Everything I gave, everything I gave to you, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Come on, I'll sing. Withholding nothing, I surrender all. I surrender. Lift your hands. Everything alone, everything. To you, withholding nothing, withholding nothing, holding nothing. I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Everything, everything I give.
Lift your hands and begin to thank the Lord that today may the Lord fill our hearts with like mindedness. May the Lord fill us to be one. May the Lord unite our front. May we never be rebellious to leadership and the voice of leadership. Somebody lift your voice and say, Lord, help me. Lord, I need your help. Let me hear your voice. My life to you. I give myself. Say it again. Say it again. It's a, it's, it's a confession. Come on, tell Jesus one more time. To you. I give. I give my life. Oh, yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Sing again. Sing it again. My life is my own, Jesus. My life is not my own. How sad be, Lord. Oh, yes. Let me hear your voice for the last time. Say, My life is not my own. To you. I give myself and I give myself to you. Come on, lift your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Without which you can't go far. Because God says that He's looking for a man with a loyal heart to show Himself strong on His behalf. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time to give unto the Lord. It is time to sow into this word. This powerful word of God. You have received a seed and a key. That is going to open doors unto you. Doors that will cause God to show himself strong on your behalf. Show your love. Take your offering right now. Lift up your offering unto the Lord. Father, we have received your word. Your word is true. And your word is faithful. Even as we have received, we have believed. And we know that if, as we walk in loyalty, faithfulness to leadership, and obedience and trustworthiness, you will take us to the place you have purpose for us. And as a church, the vision shall be accomplished. We sow the seed as a testimony that you have done it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you. Lord, 
Let's receive Apostle Cow to pray over the offering. Shall we be upstanding even as you pray over the offering? Let's close our eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this precious seeds that have been sown. We pray in the name of that you will fertilize this seed and bring the best out of it. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Oh, please take your seat. And why don't you clap your two hands to the Lord Jesus? Aren't you blessed? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. We shall receive Kaswa Kwa. Clap your hands. As they come the to minister, Masqua should also be getting ready Masqua to minister to the, to the Lord. Please clap your hands the even as they come. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. You just heard about loyalty. Let's all flow, let's all flow. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. If you don't clap, you're a suspect. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Keep clapping. Amen. Say ye ko ye unko to jeni ma. E ya wama ya sedano enoso. Hallelujah. Amen.
Why don't you give your put and get for the Lord? Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. To take us further, we want to receive the masqua, Goshi masqua. Clap your hands even as they come. Let's receive them with a clap. Pull it together as they come. Encourage them as they come. Oh, keep clapping. Keep clapping. It's part of the. It's part of church. Clap. Amen. Oh, are we here? Amen. Why don't you put your hands together and celebrate Jesus? Hallelujah. We are learning to become like Christ. Amen. I just want you to lift up your hands. Just lift your right hand. And say, Lord. Say, Lord. Wherever you lead, we will follow. Wherever you lead, we will follow. Amen. Thank you. Give you glory. In the journey of life, they are winding roads, mountains high. And valleys low, though the road ahead may be unknown, I'm still focused on the price that was pressing for. I will be what you've called me to be. I say yes, Lord, I agree, my desire, passionately, is to be what you've called me to be, and that's what I'll be. Can I have a witness? Oh. All road signs we destiny I'll follow wherever you lead nothing can hinder me for the prize is all I see I'm a soul. What you call me to be. 
And that's what I will be. That's what I will be. If you're ready, you have to lift your hands unto him. If you say yes to his call, wherever you need to say, whenever you call him, say, oh. Oh, Father, we will say, I'll say yes to you, your will. Oh, I say yes. Say yes. yes. I agree. We will say yes to your will. Yes to your ways, we will say yes. Yeah. Oh. I agree. I'll say yes to your call. I'll say yes whenever you call, Lord. I say yes. I'll say yes. Yes. I agree. I will be. You can lift your hands and sing from your heart to Jesus. You are pledging an allegiance to Jesus. Who will say yes? That's what I Praise the Lord. Why don't you appreciate God one more time for such a powerful sound ministration? Amen. Hallelujah. Our second speaker is coming very soon. Yes, sir. I want you to open yourself and receive. Every word of God has life. It brings direction. This particular camp is tailored to make us behave like Christ. That is why we are here, to be like Christ. So everything Christ did, we will do some. Tell somebody, we will do some. We, okay. Whatever Christ did, we will do some. Slap him left and right and say, we, we will do some. Anything Christ did, say, me, I will do some. Tell him, you, you too, you will do some. Hallelujah. Amen. The next speaker is a missionary. And the fire of the Holy Ghost is burning him so much. He has planted several.